For preparation for the TikTok ban in case it happens and kind of looks like it will, I decided to get caught up. The first thing I thought about was those Chinese balloons that were over American skies. I still don't believe that story. I personally believe that those are put in the air by America. And if you look close, they probably say metaverse or something like that in an effort to scare Americans into going along with the TikTok ban. And if that sounds crazy to you, it makes about as much sense as a bunch of Chinese spy balloons making it all the way into America undetected. The next thing I did is I went and got all my little coins out of the TikTok creator fund. They're notorious for shutting down accounts and keeping the money. So if they know they're going to get banned, why would they pay you? The next thing I did was download a couple of apps. The first one was Proton VPS. This is going to allow you to access TikTok through a virtual private network outside of the US. I think this one goes through Denmark. Unless Zuckerberg and them mess that up, I'll be looking at TikTok through there if it gets banned. The next app is Fanbase. I was already on there. I had two videos up. I had one total view. That was like several months ago when I did it, so I just stopped using it. And then last night, I tried to use their content import from TikTok feature. After eight hours, nothing. I'll probably keep using it, but I'll be looking around as well. From there, I also downloaded Clapper. I'll be experimenting with that for the next couple of weeks. I'm on YouTube as well. My personal content is here. I got a story that's probably going to go national soon. I'm hoping that it's not, but if it does, I want to make sure I get out in front of it, and that's where I'll be doing it. I'll also start doing lives about marriage and relationships as well. And I still have my language learning content right here. You're probably like, man, you're old. Why are you keeping up with social media? I've been using social media for my entrepreneurial venture since MySpace. I've seen many platforms come and go. TikTok did it the best. And since they can't beat TikTok in business, they brought in the politics. So 